numismatic coin collectors out there. This is Numismaticing with another rant video. Today, uh, as I was walking to my computer lab at my college, I got approached by uh, a bunch of girls who were trying to promote early child care, education and activities. And they asked me, are you interested to come play a, a fun little game and you get to get some candy if you play, play our early child care game. So I told them I wasn't really interested and they're like, oh, come on. They started begging, it'll only take a minute of your time. And I noticed these girls were people who I've seen at my college. So I, I realized that they were fellow students and I played the game. I guessed, I rolled dice. I guessed one of their boards. Um, I think the, the question was something about bullying. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? It's a good cause. So as I was playing the game, I asked them, is this for your assignment? And she answered yes <laughs> and smiled. And then I realized what was actually going on. So after I played the game, they gave me the candy to entice me, right? And they told me to fill out a survey. Okay, and the survey was a quick little survey. Um, how was the presentation? Was it informative? And at the end, there is a section with, I'd like to hear more about whatever they were presenting and a section for the email. And obviously I didn't decide to put down my email because why would I? I'm not interested in early child care businesses and stuff like that. But then it made me think guys, these local colleges and are approaching companies and they're using students to complete bogus assignments, like stand in the hallways and ask people if, if uh, they want free candy, just so they can gather information. It's a huge information gathering scheme. And the poor students, they have nothing to do with this. It's a requirement of their course. They have to do this assignment to pass their course. And it's basically free marketing for the big uh, early childcare companies to get free information gathering and free marketing. So it's interesting that they give away lollipops for your information. And obviously I didn't share any of my information. I just, uh, for the purposes of their assignment, I just put very informative, very helpful, took my candy and said, thank you very much. But uh, it made me think, guys, what's going on? What is going on these days when we're using kids, like people who try to push credit cards on you, these little kids at the gas station trying to get you to sign up for debt. And now I'm at my college and I see fellow students trying to gather people's information to give back to these companies. So anyways, enough about that. And uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, the silver rally. Wow, silver has been rallying hard. It was at $24 yesterday. Now I see it's uh, $24.11. And I regret not buying the two tubes of the Peregrine Falcon new coin that's that's coming out of the pre-order because I could have bought at $22 plus premium so around $24 $25 uh, an ounce right now the same exact coin is selling for over $28 I'm just kicking myself and on one it doesn't really matter but when I'm trying to buy two tubes I'm taking a huge hit. So let me just check out the exact price now. Okay, 28.55. Wow. 28.55 times two twos. That's over a thousand dollars. I uh, let's see. Yeah, I could have saved uh, at least uh, sixty dollars on this just a couple of days ago. But anyways, you live and you learn. As I was telling all my uh, subscribers, sil silver being $20 an ounce is already below mining cost. 
and it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, people were trying to say that it's going to go down to 15, 13, even 12 bucks. Some people even think it, it, it would go down to $10. Maybe it could happen, but when $20 is already below mining cost, I mean, where's the point where the market bounces back and we see that the markets have bounced back recently. So anyways, guys, just a little rant video about marketing and marketing schemes. And they're literally waving candy in front of a baby's face and getting valuable information. It's like a bait and switch. You know, oh, would you like some candy? Give us your information. Oh, really? Okay. So I know it's not the student's fault. It's these mega corporations making deals with these colleges, which have turned into mega corporations because I see advertisements everywhere uh, that the art students and the fashion students make for their assignments, such as Nike or Starbucks or all these marketing techniques. In the corners of, of my college, they set up displays. Um, they probably ask these companies for a couple thousand dollars. They put up the display. They're targeting markets here. And the students who set up these displays don't get paid anything. It's just a requirement of their course. And then they try to sucker other students into selling their valuable information for candy and chocolates. So anyways, that's enough of my rant and uh, silver is up right now. I'm still gonna go in on the order for the Peregrine Falcon because I think it's a great, great coin. It's the first in the series and I'm looking to get the one kilogram owl coin with the enamel yellow eyes from the Royal Canadian Mint. So I'm gonna be calling them up and seeing because it's still awaiting stock. And I'm gonna update you guys when I get that one in the mail. So if you guys like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. My name is Maddie King, signing out.